Hey y'all, welcome to Sunshine Haze. I'm Aja A, and as you see tarot cards on your screen, you know what that means. Ooh, bars, somebody sign me. <laughs> New moon in tarot, look, I told y'all to sign me and then I can't even talk. New moon in Gemini tarot forecasts are happening right now. For those of y'all that um, are subscribed or keep up with my channel, I'm sorry that it's been a little out of whack. I did give y'all full moon forecast, but y'all, Y'all know my Capricorn rising is like, listen, that wasn't the plan, and I'm not doing that again. Um, I do offer full moon readings, but I, I typically charge, uh, typically, th that is one of the things that I have people pay me for, but I wanted to get y'all something, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to get y'all something for that Taurus lunar cycle. So I gave you the full moon forecast, but we are back on track. We are now on the Gemini lunar cycle, and I am doing new moon and Gemini tarot forecast. So... Before I get started, if you are a Pisces, Pisces sun, Pisces moon, or Pisces rising, this video is for you. Now, if you feel like what I'm saying in the video is not resonating with you, that does not mean that you need to go on and either one, hit the dislike button. I don't know why y'all do that. Why do y'all just not click out of the video? <laughs> like, that is a question that I, why hit the dislike button? Who does that? Who has time for that? Just, just go to another video. But anyways. Um, please don't leave any comments telling me how this video didn't resonate with you if you're a Pisces. I do not care. I, I tell y'all in every video, if it's not resonating with you, it's not for you, check out your moon or rising sign, okay? Um, these are general readings, so it's not going to, to resonate with every single Pisces in the world on YouTube watching this video. I do want y'all to know that, okay? Um, all right, y'all. New moon in Gemini. We are going to be doing the typical five-card spread that I always do, um, looking at the energy coming in for you guys during this lunar cycle. And this Gemini moon is um, from mid-June to mid-July. So Gemini lunar season, Cancer, solar season, hey, hey, hey. Um, looking at the energy, any energies that may be crossing that energy or crossing you during this uh, lunar cycle. And then because we're dealing with Gemini, we're going to look at a card that's talking about, um, you know, what's breezing in, what's changing, what do you need to adapt to. We'll also be looking at a card that is telling you how you can live your best life. How can you truly express yourself, walk in your truth, live freely. And then as I always do in all of my spreads, I will have a little soul message card on the bottom. Um, and that could be a spirit message, message to your higher self. Just additional insight that I want you guys to leave um, leave your phones or your laptops with, I guess. <laughs> Wherever you're watching this video, I want you to walk away from it with a little bit of extra information extra infos okay all right what is popping what's gonna be going down for pisces pisces sun pisces moon and pisces rising for this uh, gemini lunar cycle Ooh, what was that y'all got the ace of wands y'all finna start some shit you got the high priestess and then the star Pisces, I think Neptune is going into retrograde and Neptune is in Pisces, so I don't know. I think that energy may have something for you guys. Y'all may really be embarking on some sort of spiritual journey, starting something new. Um, I, I say spiritual because I saw the high priestess, but then I saw the star, so like I think whatever you're going to be doing, Pisces, is going to affect a lot of people, and this could be wide scale. Um, we could be talking about your family, we could be talking about your friends, we could be talking about like your classmates, who knows? I have not done the reading yet. <laughs> Finish shuffling. What's going to be going down for Pisces? During this lunar Gemini cycle, mid-June to mid-July. What's going down for my sister, Water Signs? Okay, I was trying to... To switch cards I tried to shuffle that card in a few times but I did see the seven of cups so you guys that is our that is y'all's element um, but that is the confusion card so let's see what's popping Pisces what's going down for Pisces on an axe like five times what's going on what's going down for Pisces for this Gemini lunar cycle all right now I'm ready we can cut the deck And once more, as always. And let's see. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, you know, 
because some of y'all might be coming out of a relationship. Hmm. I think y'all had a spread in which the Hierophant came out earlier this year and I said there might be a Taurus around you that can serve as a mentor to you which I'll get to that card shortly let's 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 start <laughs> let's start your reading okay so the first card that y'all have coming up Pisces in this spread is the seven of wands um I see this card a lot when I read for myself because I am always doing my own thing and people are always wondering like what is that girl doing why <laughs> what is the logic in her head um, this card coming up in this position of the energy for you, two messages that I get for this Pisces, you guys are either embarking on some new sort of journey or you're, you're involved in some sort of project or some sort of job or something that other people do not understand. They don't get why you're doing it. They don't see what the point is or how it could serve you, but you are very much passionate about it. And with that being said, whatever that is, I want to say, Pisces, that it, it is very much for you. And that tends to happen with this card. Is um, Whenever this card comes up, it tends to point to somebody doing something that other people don't understand, but they are actually walking down the right path, okay? So the Seven of Wands coming up for the energy for you guys is just saying, like, you might be, this next month for you might be a, you know, I'm... I'm this is what I'm working on, this is how I'm going to do it, and this is why I'm doing it, and I'm doing it. And other people might just be like, oh, okay, but why? And you, this little wand, right, you don't have time for that. You, you're, you're already on the path of making this shit happen. Now, because <laughs> you got the Five of Cups crossing it, I did mention I don't like doing love readings, but if I have love messages come out, I will read them for y'all. Because you have the Five of Cards crossing the Seven of Wands, I want to say that you might be coming out of a relationship or you might be walking away from something that you were emotionally invested in. That could be a friendship. That could be a job that you put a lot of time and energy into. That could be, like I said, a relationship. Um, and it could also be like a familiar relationship that you know you're just like, okay, I have to love you from a distance because this is not, this ain't working for me. This card being in this position, if that is the message for you, if it wasn't the first one, but it's this one, this card coming up is saying Pisces you made the right decision or whatever happened was the right decision because it is time for you to do some things on your own you actually can't progress and do the things that you need to do the things that are laid out for you if you're actually still holding on to whatever this five of cups is um if you're still kind of wrapped up in whatever you were already involved in that you 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 know are having to move away from you actually cannot tap into this seven of wands energy and and, ta and harness that fire, that willpower energy to do the things that you need to do that are good for you, that serve your higher good, if you're still hanging on to this Five of Cups, okay? Now, let me talk to you guys a little bit more about the Five of Cups. For those of y'all that watch my videos, y'all know the Five of Cups is one of my, um, what I call one of my aw shit cards. And this card coming up in this position of the energy that's crossing you, it's just saying, like, whatever is going on, Pisces, whatever you're walking away from or whatever is being taken away from you or whatever is changing, it's, it may be putting you into this position to where you feel a little sad. You feel a little down. You might feel like, you know, you lost out on something. It might be some grief or you might be a little disappointed. Like, whatever you have put all that energy into, it seems like it just didn't work out. And now you're in this place to where you're like, okay, well, I got to do this shit by myself. I got to do this on my own. And, but you're, you're still kind of, you know, you're a water sign. You're still, you still feel, you, you feel things very strongly. So you're still feeling the emotions attached to the release of whatever it is that you're having to do away with here, okay? Um, this card, what I want to say about this Pisces, um, because... I have dealt with the Pisces before and I have a few friends with Pisces in their charts. Whatever it is that was moved away from you or whatever it is that you walked away from, you guys are the fish with the two tails tied together. So you tend to go like this. You tend to go in opposing directions a lot of the times. Do not fall back into this. Whatever this is that you already did away with, please do not go back to it. Please do not 
get back in that relationship with your ex please do not stay in that job that you put so much time and energy into that you just got let go from it that you just quit please do not you know stay around and kiss that family member's ass because you feel like oh they're family i have to be this way no Whatever that situation was or is, Pisces, it is not serving you and it is bringing you negative energy and you need to do away with it. You need to tap into your seven of wands. You need to rock it on your own for a little bit by yourself. You need to do what you feel is right for you because as I say in all of my videos where this message comes up, nobody knows what's best for you except for, for you, especially if you've grown. I know I have some teenagers that watch my videos, but if you over 21 and especially if you got your shit together, don't nobody know what's best for you other than you. Yeah, your parents be knowing. I'm, I'm not going to say your parents don't know or your parents don't have good advice. But, you know, once you've grown, you, you tend to know yourself. You tend to know what works for you and what doesn't. So this is just saying I, I did want to put that message out there. Pisces, whatever this is, especially because you have so much emotional investment attached to this, don't fall back into those old patterns. Don't fall back into those old ways because what will end up happening is instead of being able to tap into these other two cards that I'm about to talk about, you're just going to stay stuck in this five of cups energy. As I, I've said, Saturn is in Capricorn. And with that being said, things that aren't supposed to be are being broken down. And when we hold on to those things that are being broken down, they tend to break down in a way that makes shit look like it's crazy. So, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be in that five of cups energy. That is a heavy energy. So, like I said, whatever you walked away from or whatever walked away from you, let it go. Don't don't try to hold on to it. You don't need to. Okay? <sighs> All right, Pisces. You know what? I need some water. I was trying not to hack up a lung, <laughs> but I need some water. Um, okay, y'all. What's the next card? You've got the four of wands coming up in your position of what's changing, what's breezing in, what do you need to adapt to? And that card coming up in that position um, is a card of completion. It's the card of, you know, a cycle coming to a close. But with that being said, this card also reflects like, hey, the work that you've been putting in, the things that you've been working on, everything that you've been manifesting is actually coming into play. You're actually going to be able to reap those um, rewards. This is a fire card. It is a, I'm sorry, this is a wands card, so it does resonate with the fire element which is all about action which is all about willpower um this card could also like something maybe like this card is actually a card of like a possible event coming up something could be getting ready to happen that is just going to bring you so much positive energy and put you into into a place to where you're able to maybe i don't know network or you're able to do certain things that you maybe have not been able to do because you've been hanging out and whatever this little the uh, cups was that brought you to this five of cups but now look at this y'all all wands cards it's literally only your emotions crossing you um but now that you're you're tapping into this seven of wands energy you actually have that willpower to keep making moves on those things that you want to do for yourself and that you want to do to set yourself up for, for success in the future right this energy that you're working with during this new moon in gemini is going to put you towards this four of wands so long as you're not hanging out in your feelings, Pisces, okay? Um, the next card that I have coming up for y'all is the Two of Wands. As I said, y'all got all Wands cards. So this New Moon in Gemini is all about action for y'all. This is all about making moves. This is all about the things that you've been intending or working on. Now is the time for you to actually physically bring them into play. I think this card came up in y'all's new year forecast and i have those videos down in the description box as well because we are at the half point of the year um i haven't gone back and looked at my videos for the year but i, I wanted to do that after i finished all these videos but i put them down there because i think this is a really good time to reflect and i'm not going to put out like reflection videos so you know y'all just go watch y'all 2018 forecast and y'all can be the judge of you know what life is looking like for you or how far along that little um forecast how far into that forecast you are as far as six months into the year goes, okay? Um, so the two of wands is in the position of how can you truly express yourself? How can you live your best life? The two of wands is one of my favorite cards. It's a card of direction and determination. Um, and this card coming up with the four of wands too is just a reminder like this, this, is, this is confirmation that, you know, something good is coming in for you. Like 
you have been doing the work you have been doing everything you need to do and you will be able to celebrate it the two of wands is saying how can you live your best life how can you express yourself freely what i want to say is for this pisces you need to tap into and figure out like i said you guys are the fish with two tails tied together you're going to need to take a little bit of time to figure out what it is that you actually really truly want in your life and how to get there this as i said is a card of direction if you if you look at the card although the wands are kind of like this for um did any of y'all ever take like art classes where they showed y'all how to make it look like you know a road was you know you're walking down a road and it's getting further and further away so that's kind of what these wands look like to me so it kind of looks like you know there's a path for you to go down for there's a path for you what you have to do pisces is figure out that path um because you're a water sign and i'm a water sign too i get it because you're a water sign you tend to go wherever the stream takes you you just go with the flow which is cool like i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i'd be the last one to tell y'all that but i think it would do y'all some good this lunar cycle to maybe although you don't have any earth cards and uh, nope i'm not gonna say that you don't have any earth cards in here but the hierophant is taurus so um, we're gonna use that earth energy this is saying like you know tap into a little bit of earth energy pisces and and make a plan make a plan try and stick to it because that plan going down that path that's how you live your best life you actually have to adhere to that plan in order to get to that four of wands and you really have to adhere to that plan do not let other people persuade you or, or um, don't not persuade not let other people make you sway from the things that you have set up for yourself okay and don't let your emotions or your emotional investments block you from making the moves that you need to make because Pisces this is a good spread literally the only all shit card in here is the five of cups but that's such a heavy energy that it's like yeah this card could make it very difficult for you to tap into all of this wand's energy so like I said let it go let it go you need to get if you don't wanna mm -mm 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 -mm. if we talking about a relationship <laughs> All right, Pisces, the last card that I have coming up for y'all in this spread is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is like the masculine version of the High Priestess card for me. But I think in this spread, this is more so, this is your soul message position. I think in this spread, this is more so a message to you, Pisces, that your water, you stay in your emotions a lot and you act out of emotions. You guys tend to make moves based off of how you feel. I think this is saying, like I said before, there's somebody around you, there's somebody that can be a mentor to you, that can actually give you some insight and give you some advice on how to progress in the things that you want for yourself. This person is probably a little bit older if we are talking about a person. Um, this could just also say like you're seeking out knowledge to figure out what it is that you want to do. So this could just say you need to do a little bit more research um, if we're talking about like a a project or like a new career or something that you want to do but i think this is this is actually a card saying like pisces there's somebody out there that is very aware of the situation that you're in they either are very close to you and they they've seen all of this or they've been through whatever it is that you're trying to do or that you're dealing with now especially this five of cups and there's somebody that can give you some like i said some insight and some and some advice on how to actually let go and get rid of and release this five of cups so if you have a taurus in your life maybe an earth sign but this this card resonates with taurus if you have a taurus in your life pisces this is somebody that you should probably be talking to during this new moon in gemini and if that message doesn't resonate with you this is saying pisces whatever you've got going on here this seven of wands this two of wands this four of wands this is saying that you maybe need to do a little bit more research. You maybe need to do a little bit more planning before you can come to this Four of Wands um, energy, okay? All right, Pisces. I think that's it. <laughs> I hope this reading uh, resonated with you. If you uh, like the reading and you feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh, I just saw the Ace of Pentacles. So some new things are starting for you. Um, that Four of Wands, that Seven of Wands, and that Two of Wands is probably a new project or something new that you can embark on that's going to bring it's going to start a new foundation for you that's going to kind of change your life put you on a new cycle if that makes sense um but yeah this reading is free so if you want a little bit more insight or you, you can definitely go on and book a uh oh i guess there's a little bit more uh 
Yeah, you've got to get a grip on those emotions, Pisces. That Five of Cups and the Mother of Cups coming out. This is saying whatever you're doing away with, you are going to need to do a little bit of healing um, in order to build upon the things that you want. So, yeah, I guess y'all got a little bit more for free from me. But if you actually do want um, some more insight, definitely, um, or not just on this, if you, if you want a reading from me, you can go on and book one through my Etsy shop. Um, if you don't see anything on there that, you know, kind of jumps out at you, you can definitely just shoot me an email. And I have all of that information in those links down in my description box below. If you have any questions or comments, I am back to checking my channel frequently. So I will respond to you within a couple of days of you posting whatever you post down there. Um, if you like the video, go on and hit that little thumbs up button for me. Um, what else? What else? What else, Pisces? Uh, if you know any other Pisces that may need to watch this video or if you cross watching for a... Uh, for a Pisces or if you uh, know friends that got Pisces booze and they want to cross watch, um, go on and send, the, send them this video. You guys tend to um, share my videos a lot and I really appreciate it. It contributes a great deal to the growth of my channel, right? Um, anything else? Anything else, you guys? Uh, what else can I tell you guys? I said like, I said comment, I said share. Oh, subscribe. If you have made it all the way through to the end of this video, you clearly like what I'm talking about. So you should go on and hit that subscribe button um, so you can keep up with when I put out new videos. Um, and I think for a show, for real that this time, I think that's it. I think that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, that's it, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time.